subliminal messages, the conscious response, deep, deep breaths. that body, move that body. and love and kindness family. I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, the one and only Conscious Self Healthcare educator and host of the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. Every Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Community, this is your time to share your wellness stories and how you move from disease care to conscious self health care. I want to hear your story. We want to hear from you. Join the conversation each Wednesday. Call in and share how you shift out of chronic disease care stress. Right here on InnerLightRadio.com, the healing frequency. This is Dr. K, and I am looking forward to our conversation. So call in and share. Health is consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness. Come on, family. It's time to rock the world with the new frontier of conscious self-health care. Why I share my wellness story with you right here on InnerLightRadio.com, The Healing Frequency. It's The Healing Frequency, family. It's The Healing Frequency. Talking about the great self. Frequency. That's right, family. We're talking about vibrating self. Feel your own vibration. Raise your own frequency. You know when you're out of bounds. You know when you're out of tune to the natural vibration of life. You know, just got to dance, take some deep breaths, motivate yourself. You know how we do it. Sit back. Time to tune into yourself. Get into that rhythm and flow. Thank you for dancing with me today on this Wellness Wednesday. Hey, 11, 27, 2019, how you doing? I know you loved yourself this week even more because everybody's in that thankful state. Even if they faking it. You don't want to fake it though, fam. You want to be thankful. You want to live in an attitude of gratitude because you know yourself, you honor yourself and your existence of being here. Ah, that's the breath you can take around these days that they want you to celebrate so they can make money, so they can increase their bottom line, get rid of all their old outdated products, get you all hyped up like you're getting a great deal. Ah, and the best deals come throughout the year. I don't know one particular day. How you doing, family? How you doing, community? Did you take time for yourself this week? Extra time for yourself this week. Are you grateful and thankful to your being for what it's doing for you, how you're vibrating in the world? Are you thanking yourself, your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, your superconscious mind, how you stand in alignment in these days and times? Are you setting back? Getting more into yourself, creating that vortex to spread out around the world, to put in that deep, deep, deep vibration of love and unity for the black community. It's time for us to be together as one body, as one information pool, as one vibrating energy. And so we can raise the vibration around the world to shift people's states of mind and body into a harmonious state. I want you to do that for me. I want you to vibrate with me as I keep moving through this feeling of correctiveness 
and my body is adjusting and realigning its cells and cells are brushing off and new cells are coming in and the body's just going through so much. And Karen is just sitting back saying, wow, look how the body heals itself. Ah, look how the body nourishes itself. Look how you are important to all that process by your states of being, your states of consciousness in various situations. You got to always think about the vibrations and what it does for self. So family, community, and friends, and guests for the first time, thank you for tuning into the Conscious Self Health Care Conversation Radio Show. I'm your host, Karen Khadijah Davis, folks, the one and only conscious self-health care educator for herself, educating you and supporting you with being the same thing for yourself so you know how to make those adjustments when times come that you need to do that because no matter what anybody says or what anybody thinks or feels everyone creates forms of cellular malfunctions and sometimes those cellular malfunctions they galvanize together and they create something major in the body and the body start going through some different things and if you go to western medicine they got a name they got a name for it and they got a a, a message in it that says you can't do nothing about it well this show right here is to tell you that you have control over it all and there is no need for pharmaceuticals you don't want that adjustment in your life you want to sit back and take the opportunity and just sometimes really sitting back thinking about what's going on is a major shift in the body enough but if you're looking at that physical body then sometimes we have to bring in good proper nutrition that's right, good, proper nutrition. We talk about nourishment for the cells, for the human body. And what does that look like? Have you asked yourself that? Am I really, truly feeding my cells so they can do the best job that they possibly can? Or am I feeding my taste buds? What am I really doing? Because food is oh so good. I mean, they can take some mm, and make it taste like something. Woo! And you didn't even know that you was eating some mm. You thought it was some chocolate cake. <laughs> you got to step back and you got to think about it, family. You got to think about all this food they creating for you and what they saying to you and what you don't need and how a drug is the answer, how removing organs is the answer. We're here to tell you that it's not the answer. That's not the way you want to go. You don't want to act like you're hopeless and helpless, can't do anything, cells will malfunction. It's a part of life. It's a part of this human experience. So we got to honor that process. How you doing, family? Don't let these holidays get you down. Don't be out there being fake, too, about how thankful you are for a lot of things when you really are going through some things where you're making adjustments. You should be able to say it, you know, because energy never lies to you. Nobody else's energy and neither does yours when you pay attention to that energy. So we're talking about health is a choice. Is it time to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your personal health care plan, especially around this time of year? You we go from this time of year, October, November, December, January. Think it's a break in February? No. Then you come around with March, Easter, and all these kind of things. They just keep you going almost six months straight, and we don't even realize it. And you don't really get a break? So we got to look at these days and what they really mean to us and how we treat our bodies and our states of consciousness and our life around these days. Starting, like I said, with October, up past January, getting into Easter, people be doing a lot of things and stressing themselves out, trying to be a part of the society uh, uh, of that spending. And this is not the season for it. Most definitely. A lot of ships is happening with the dollar bill, with the United States, with a lot of things going on. Family, we need to be careful. We need to be conscious of what's going on about our economics, our finances, our body, our living, what we're doing and how we're doing it. And it's only a cautionary state that we need to be in sometimes. So are you sitting back today with me? Are you taking your deep, deep breaths? Did you invite somebody over to join you to sit back and relax and breathe and share a pleasant conversation with to help us move through something that we may be going through? <sighs> 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 
feel the flow and the rhythm of that breath. I'm telling you, like I said before, I spent a year and more building up every area of my body to get to the point where I was going to be working with that liver. That's one of the main eliminating channels of the body. And when it does what it does, it goes into the bloodstream, it goes into systems, it goes into cells and organs and a lot of things be happening. And I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I asked for it because I wanted to purify my body as much as I can to keep me moving beyond the attitude that my body was in that allowed that stroke to come into being. And I'm telling you, I've been telling you about <laughs> since I've been working on the liver. Oh, my eyes is back into that burning state again. I got a little break for a minute, but now all of a sudden the other night it's just going to flood out again. We got some more stuff coming down. We got some more stuff coming out. That mucus is coming out. It's liquefying itself. And all I can say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please keep one eye. I'm really grateful for all the fluid that's coming out. This is what I haven't been able to see out. The other one is doing the same thing, but I'm just saying stay purified. You say purify, you continue, you let some of that acid get some of that calcification from around the eye so the eye can become clear. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to the body. Oh, there's a lot of cell talk going on around here. We got to have that cell talk. We got to tune into ourselves. We have to be conscious of what we're creating and what we're doing. Ah, as we take these deep, deep breaths through this time that's going on and we hold on to that vital energy as we raise our hands and we stretch them above our head, we stretch our bodies and we take that deep, deep, deep Kundalini breath and we feel that breath coming all the way up, all the way up. And we're so focused on the breath and how the body feels. We know the area that shows a sign of tightness. And we stop right there. And we breathe into that space. And we visualize everything breaking up and moving away. But I'm telling you, my torso and my body, that side that was tight with the side of the stroke, that right side, oh, it's so loosening up over there. And I never felt the way I'm feeling now. So I got to say, it got to be something to that turpentine. That's gum spirit turpentine. I see and feel a major difference going on with that. I did cut it down to about three, four times a week. I'm telling you something. I can feel signs on that side that I've never felt before. I feel breaking up. It was always stiff. The muscles was always stretched. And even though I move right along, I twist. I do the hula hoop. I just say, nah, we're going to keep you going no matter how you feel. I'm not buying into the stiffness. I'm not buying into you saying the muscles is tight. I'm not buying into none of that. Thank Lord I didn't. Because like I say, now everything is breaking up. I'm feeling that side even more. All the way up to my shoulders, I'm feeling it. That's right. I can see. I'm looking at my body on both sides. I'm seeing how, you know, we tilt anyway, naturally. But I'm seeing how far things are and how things are coming. And I'm pleased. It's family, community, and friends. I'm telling you, it's nothing greater. It's no, it's not a, it's such a warm feeling to become your own wellness doctor, to nourish your own body, to pay attention to what's going on mentally, physically, emotional, spiritually, things that's happening around you and what you're giving to you, giving out. And I'm telling you, if everybody could get the gift without going through anything of actually feeling their nervous system and how they think they're feeling and responding to certain things, oh, a whole lot of people make a whole lot of shifts in a whole lot of areas. Because I'm telling you, I understand the energy anyway and reading it naturally through who I am, but actually feeling now and seeing the vibrations and the nerves oh, is something else. And, and I keep telling myself, Karen, are you slowing yourself down from healing because you kind of like this feeling? You kind of like knowing what's really going on and the effects of it when you're like, oh, I don't feel nothing on the left side, but I feel something on the right side. It's just amazing when you think things are in balance and your body shows you something else through the vibration. If you can see it through the static in people's energy, that's wonderful. But if you cannot and people can't feel their own energy, I'm telling you, it's such a blessing when you sit back and tune into yourself and get into that natural state, that natural feeling. We're talking about laws of vibrational energy. We're talking about that deep, 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 deep love, 528 megahertz of love. It's a power that brings our entire life together. It heals, renews, restores, and empowers us all with divine energy and life. You see, I'm love in action. You are love in action. We are love in action. Let's all be love in action. Vibration frequency, 528 megahertz. 
be the master of positive self-expression at all times. Be thankful for the fact that we can feel, that we can recognize the vibration, that we are here to be givers and receivers of this magnificent love. We got to honor that process. We got to thank ourselves and know that thoughts become things. So are you choosing the good ones? Did you choose the great ones this week? Because you never, never, ever, ever should underestimate the power of the universe when you align with that vibration, when you tune into yourself, when you sit back and you take those deep, 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 deep breaths and feel it, feel it in your body, permeating all through your body, every area. Know where your stagnations are and your blockages are. That's why we say, are you creating your life from a man-made mindset of human consciousness or are you creating your life from the divine spiritual frequencies of that God frequency, that word that generally means natural being. People take it to mean a lot of other things, but it's about a frequency, that 528 megahertz, lots of vibrational energy is good. It makes you feel good. You got to feel good, family. You got to keep your vibration raised up because a lot of things are going on and you definitely want to tune into yourself and know what's happening. So take those deep, deep breaths and think about financially what you're doing to yourself over the next four or five months. Think about what you're doing to yourself financially over the next two months or this coming Friday that's coming up, what they call that. And it's something the answer they call it Black Friday. Oh, wonder why they do that. What's the real meaning behind that? Because is everybody that's of that black you gonna go out there and spend their money and give it all back to them? Thinking that they're getting a great deal, thinking they're getting a great sale on something. Oh, we got to think. You gotta think about it, fam. You gotta think about what you're doing. And this is a time of year to really sit back and really, 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 really concentrate. And think about the things that you have been doing and the things that you want to do. God is both invisible and visible. One presence, one mind, one power is all. We say this one that is all is perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. And man, yeah, man, you, woman, man, and child, we are the individualized expression of this frequency of 528 megahertz of love. And we are ever one with this perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. I'm here to tell you that your future is bright. Oh, your future is bright as your imagination. High as your imagination. Don't get caught up in this world and lose imagination. I ain't saying really stay like a child like mine. I'm saying don't lose your real imagination. Because that's how you really generate and create the life you want. So loosen the reins and allow your creative process to leap forward in the imagination of what you truly want. For that's how you create and bring it into existence. And you got to hold on to it. So we know a lot of things have been going on and some things got our attention and some things don't have our attention. But I want you to have attention on some things and... Oh, in the midst of my burning, running eyes, I wrote some things down. I'm going to share them with you through some posts. We're going to listen to a commercial, and I'm going to come back and share with you uh, after that. And then we'll close out this segment of 2019, uh, December of 2019. I'll be taking that month-long break, and we'll be hearing the best of what the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show had to offer you for 2019 as I sit back and meditate and bring myself into a high vibration and make that shift for 2020 when everything is going to be super, super wonderful. So I say, yes, community members of the whole society, it is time to emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery. We will be celebrating the 10th anniversary come 2020, and I got some wonderful things planned. But it's all around the children, the future, the now process, and I'm looking forward to making those things happen and definitely helping them become their own wellness doctor. Oh, yeah, they out there doing their thing anyway. Parents are not really that much in line with health care unless the kid is coming in with something that's going on because you're not looking at how they're thinking, how they're feeling, their diet and what they're eating because your life is so fast and busy. So we're going to spend some more time with focusing with the children to help them understand how to better care for themselves. We're talking about shifting out of chronic disease care stress. 
So, yes, family and community and friends, I want to see some numbers change on how to emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery day site that's out there on Facebook that's been out there for 10 years and keep fluctuating between 333 people because I know it's more than that. We're going to put out the energy that that page is going to open up and we're going to see the true numbers of the people that's been following that has something to say and something to share. We're going to ask the universe to release all that information. Somebody got hiding and holding back because they don't want to know. People know how powerful that day is and what people need to be thinking about. And I want to help you. I want to help you with your cellular malfunctions. I want you to move beyond them, know that they may come and what to do. So I'm inviting you to join that group, Lymphatic Cellular Wellness, and lymphasizing, understanding the importance of helping that lymphatic system not only through the breath but through movement and the right movement. And, yes, we need some devices sometime. And this health has a wonderful uh, PMF device. Uh, it's better than a lot of PMF devices out there, the My Health device. And it's called My Health for a reason because you program those frequencies and those vibrations according to what you need that's going to match the vibration of those cells and those organs and those tissues and help your body purify itself. So you want to join that group and be a part of that. Because, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, community and friends, it is time to bury disease care, disease thinking. Yes, we got to protect us all and our children from Western medical health care. That system right now, it's time. We got to make those adjustments because, believe me, they're doing a lot of things through state by state that you don't even know about until it pop up one day. That's why some parents are getting so pissed. They're coming home and their daughters are being vaccinated. Their daughters are being given this shot. The sons are being given this shot through the schools. They got the psychologists and psychiatrists in there messing with the children. You don't even know nothing about it. But I keep trying to tell y'all, take your kids out of them schools. Getting into homeschooling is all ways of educating your children. Don't let them destroy these bodies. These beautiful black bodies, we got to do something. We got to wake up. We got to wake up from all of those things. And, and I implore you to do that today. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Take this deep breath with me. <sighs> Relax the body. out of sync. Could it be that you are experiencing electromagnetic sensitivity? Yes, electromagnetic sensitivity. Could man-made frequencies interfere with cellular activity and melatonin production? We are beings of frequency, light, and information, and you are your own experience. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of man-made mindset of human consciousness. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Schedule your Nest ProVision Human Body Field Scan with Dr. K, 202-248-7749. Visit the website, ForSaleLife.com, the number 4, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E.com. Have the courage to expand your horizon and reprogram your cellular activities. Call Dr. K for your 15-minute wellness consultation, 202-248-7749. Is it time for a new approach to your health care? Are you ready to leave the dark ages of disease care management and pharmaceuticals? If your answer is yes, get ready to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your personal health care prescription plan with Dr. K. She is a certified lithologist and Nest Healthcare provider, sharing the new signs of information as medicine and cellular ecology. Did you know that the field of epigenetics states that you are more than just your genes and those genes do not control your biology? Yes, that's correct. Schedule a Skype, phone, or office visit with Dr. K and get on board the friendship train to healthcare freedom. 202 248 7749. That's 202 
248-7749. Visit us on the web, forsalelife.com. The number four, the words sell, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. Are you at your wit's end because there seems to be no solution to your health care problem? Is it okay for me to say to you that you can have peace of mind? Take back control of your health. Are you experiencing anxiety, arthritis, diabetes, cancer, fibromyalgia, high blood pressure, lupus, chronic fatigue syndrome, any fictitious disease? Whatever your symptoms or diagnosis are, there is a conscious solution to transform the cause of your pain. Not treat symptoms or mask it. No prescription medication, no over-the-counter drugs, no organs removed are required. Take back control of your health by the renewing of your mind. You can create wellness today. Contact Dr. K, 202-248-7749. Visit us on the web www the number four the word cell c e l l l i f e dot com let that war mean that with ascension you rise come on fam with ascension you got to rise consciousness you got to rise you got to rise above it all let your body stand to the state of despair. Don't do that, family. You gotta keep rising. So, look, we was having some in and out in my vibration over this line today. I don't know what part you heard or what part you missed, but I know what part I want you to hear. And so I might say it again. When we heal trauma, we heal our nervous system. When we heal our nervous system, we heal our emotional body. When we heal our emotions body, we heal our intuitive energy body. When we heal our intuitive body, we restore our vibration completely. That human body feel that is so powerful. There's so much over this physical body. Uh, once our vibration is restored, a new reality, profound peace, love, prosperity, joy, ease of flow and goodness and wholeness of energy comes around us. Yes, it does. So the cause and the cure are you, family, the cause and the cure of everything. Whatever your cause is and whatever you say your cure is, it comes directly from you, your state of consciousness. Remember, we have different states of consciousness, and you have to be conscious about the state of consciousness you're in when you don't like what you see, when you like what you see, when you want to see what you want to see. Your states of consciousness is always and always creating. I'm here to tell you, it's always doing that. And that's what we talk about, self-love, self-care, self-respect. We got to have self-worth. We got to understand that self-knowledge. And with the self-assurance, oh, we can create the magic in our lives that we want each and each and every time. And you can do it when you sit back and you take those deep, 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 deep breaths of feeling of relaxation. So as this will be the last show for 2019, because like I say, I'm going to set back for the month of December and I'm going to do what I said and I'm going to get ready for 2020 because it's going to be a fantastic year of definitely supporting the youth around Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day. April is Conscious Self-Health Care and Lymphatic Cellular Wellness Month. April 30th is that day we celebrate every year, and this is a year of the child. This is a year of the children. My son said, Mommy, it's time for you to focus and honor these children as out here. I told you that a year ago, Mommy. I told you that, my son said to me. And are you ready to do it this year? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to honor the children because they are making such a big difference in this world today. But in the meantime, and in between those times, as I close out this show, I just want to put this message out again. The case against all black people, not just against Brian Allen. Money talks as well as actions. I want to say from what I've seen so far, seen Combs P. Diddy. I want to thank him for not letting Comcast Infinity use him. Now, all should show what black unity looks like. Yes, he got some money. Yes, he was making some money. Yes, he had some deals with Comcast, but they wanted to carry it a little bit further and say that they was inclusive of black folks. And he said, you're not going to use me that way. And that's what I'm talking about, standing up and uniting together. You got to stand together. 
and don't let say, well, oh, we can we can we can shift that energy over there and let that food go. No, this is major. So I'm glad he spoke up the way that he did. My contract will end with Infinity Concast. I thought it was going to be December 1, but I found out it actually ended this month. And I'm telling you, I'm not renewing. So I will be off the air for a month while I search for a right way to get back online. Because I'm not giving a company my money that wanted to do what they did. Any company, any corporation that would use a law to turn back the times to when black people were so-called enslaved, just not to do fair business with one man or many people, representing many, should not have black people's money whatsoever. That's what we be talking about when we talk about that hashtag. Black people's comedic boycott ham. We're talking about boycotting all those things against the black race. We're talking about uniting all those things good for the black race. We must show Infinity Comcast and this president of this United States that sent this guy in there to talk for 10 minutes at that Supreme Court to help turn back the time. I'm telling you, it's time for us to stand up and have always and always stood up. We got to keep standing up. If they could deframe Brian Allen the way they did Bill Crosby for wanting to buy Fox 5 Network, they would have. So they probably tried everything they could, and that's why they had to come with that law with him because they couldn't find any way to bury him any other way and shut this stuff down. And we got to recognize what they do, and we got to stand up and let them know that we're not allowing this type of stuff to go on anymore, that we all are together, that we are united with money Little money, no money, have money. We're not going to let them rule and shift us anymore. We've got to stay together as a family. So I listened to the um, first interview with Bill Crosby that came out. And, and sometimes universal frequencies and your own vibrate you, put you in a seat for you to have power and do a lot of great things that you didn't even know that you could do. Like I often say with Nelson Mandela, the time that he spent and, and the way his mindset came back out, even just to survive that, it was for a reason to show some people how things work. And I say the same thing is going on with Bill Crosby. And I was glad to hear a little bit of his interview. And I'm just going to share with you um, three paragraphs of that that I think that is important. A weekly highlight for Bill Crosby since his incarceration has been the reform program. It's called Man Up, where he is often the featured speaker. The program serves to encourage and empower African-American men to strive for self-respect and dignity and to put their families first. You see, he's in one of the largest prisons in Pennsylvania that house so many African-Americans in there. And he was put there for a reason to do some things that he's doing right now. He says to always remember to work as a team. He says to always remember to work as a team. We are all in this life together. And Mr. Crosby is a political prisoner. He tells us that we are going to save our babies. Yes, we are going to save our babies. We cannot be out there killing our children and our women. This man said that he said in this interview over the phone. He also said, in which I say the same thing, but I have had practices in it, I am not a psychiatrist and I am not a psychologist. He says, I am an educator. And that's what we end up being educators. When you're a true psychologist and psychiatrist, you end up being educators, educating people away from that system and them drugs like I do. But I'm just saying, he says, I'm an educator. And what I look forward to is talking to that group of 400 men in prison. Even in their 70s and some in their 50s and 30s and 20s and how he's helping them to reframe and retrain their thoughts and things and actions and share that out with the community that they have out in out in the community, the people that they have out in the community, not just behind those prison walls. It makes a big difference. And so he says, as I said earlier, the revolution is in the home. He said, I said, he said, and I say, the revolution is in the home. It's in the home family. It's in the home mama. It's in the home daddy. It's in the home brother. It's in the home sister. Your family is in the home. And we've got to put it there and keep it there, he said. He said, like Marvin Gaye said, what's going on? Is your, it's pathetic in that too many of us are dying in these neighborhoods. And we get back to the neighborhoods of the 60s and the 
50s when people were true neighbors in the 40s and, and everybody knew everybody and everybody was supporting everybody. Everybody was helping everybody. We didn't try to pull each other down and we didn't see just one person greater than the other. We just saw that we could help one another. If we had a little bit, we could give a little bit. We got to get back to that harmonizing feeling of neighbors and being good neighbors in a neighborhood. Cut that slang talk out. It's not a hood. It's a neighborhood. And we got to get back to that. He said, too many of us are dying. And another quote from the song is, we got to find a way. We have to find a way. And there is a way. We have to find that way and we have to use that way. And that's self-love, self-care, self-respect. We got to honor the self. We got to honor the body. We got to honor each other. We got to stop bringing each other down through negative vibrations. We got to stop putting walls up to hold people back. We got to stop putting up these bricks. (sighs) Ah. We got to stop it. We got to come together. We got to say, I'm doing it for this reason, and I'm doing it for that reason. There is no reason to not to be in unity and harmony with one another around the world. They do it when they're not in harmony and peace. They do it just to bring you down. And I'm saying it's time for us to raise the vibration, understanding the laws of energy. Everything is in a constant state of vibration. Everything is in a constant state of vibration from the smallest physical particle to the grandest things yet to be perceived everything has an ideal vibration or frequency where it reaches a state of resonance which keeps in balance the pure singular tone of the 528 megahertz which means love creates resonance in our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual body. That's why I'm always vibrating to the feeling of love. I got that frequency. I got a frequency of 528 hertz in my body. Now, I don't know the melody, but I do know the feeling. And that allows us to tune into the wisdom of the universe, divine intelligence, our super soul of our soul. So, Dr. Leonard Horsewick is uh, one of the leading experts, and I have a lot of his information on 528 megahertz of frequency. He encourages all to use that 528 frequency to restore human consciousness to its full power and potential. He calls 528 megahertz the frequency of love, laws of vibrational energy. It heals, reduces, and restores me with divine energy and life. You see, it opens a portal to the spiritual transformation and awakening apart from providing health benefits to us. The DNA is a receptor. The DNA is a receptor or an antenna, like the brain is, to receive and absorb this vibration and attunes us to the universal frequencies of life. It's been proven experts in fields, including NASA and math scientists, have made extensive experiments on the wonderful effects of 528 frequency. So, family, you haven't really sat back and vibrated to 528 frequency of megahertz of love. You got to give yourself that gift. You got to sit back and vibrate to that frequency. You got to be able to tune into yourself and you got to understand what's going on. How long is that song that I'm going to play next? I know how many minutes I got to talk. I don't think it's that long, but I want to get this song again because this is how I want to close up the year. Because like I said, I might not be with you in December. It might Something may come up, but I'm cutting off Comcast come Monday. Down, letting it go. My contract is up. I'm not giving them my money anymore. So Comcast will be cut off. I got to find another way to get on the Internet. And for those that have been watching me and following me through the Internet, through Comcast, because you tied into that system, hear me now. That journey is over with. Because I'm going into a mode of silence. So if you can get some frequencies and vibrations to understand what's going on with me, then you're good. Because tapping into what I'm doing through Comcast, what you've been doing for the last five years, that is over with. I am now moving forward. And I have released all of that in my life. Well, it's now what it looks like. Because it looks like what I've been creating and how I've been flowing over these last five years. And what I'm doing for this divine body that gives me this smile all over my body. Now that I'm moving forward and everything's looking good. And I walk through that storm. I walk through that man-made storm of frequency that people shouldn't do to one another. I walk through it with love. I walk through it with kindness. 
and I walk through it with the spirit of my ancestors. And this is the time of the year that I've always sat down with my grandmother. My grandmother and I was best friends. This time of year was the only holiday that I ever really celebrated because it was around her birthday. And she stopped that 10 years before she left planet Earth. She said, that's it. I'm finished with that. Family, do what you want to do. And I've been doing that ever since. But I'm going to be here in my home with my people, my ancestors, setting back, creating that divine plan. Where my roommate go spend time with his family, with his friends. I'll have this home and I'll be in a vibration frequency of self-love and self-care and self-respect and getting myself ready for 2020 and what I plan on doing. And ain't no other frequency coming to stop by this pathway again, because guess what? We're moving in love and kindness. And I'm going to play this song right here because this is how I feel. And this is how I'm going into the next year. And I can't wait to see what recordings are going to be replayed for us in the month of December while I'm on vacation. Allowing my body to continue to flow with this upgrade that is being given. The opportunity to show people how to become their own wellness doctor. Free of pharmaceuticals, free of doctors, free of their tests. Because like I said, I got the best test for you to determine what's going on with your energetic body and your physical body and I can work with you around the world with one and the other one I need to be in present with you and you family members you need to wake up and you need to tune in you need to use these tools that they are now using and still keeping you in the dark age making you think that you got to have surgery and take drugs and there's no cure and you got to be on medicine forever and ever and ever it's time to shift that vibration and start living family and when we're in that happy flow can I hear that song
clap along, family. You got to feel the flow. You got to get into the rhythm of happiness. You got to know what's going on in your life and around you. You got to stop giving your power to people, places, and things. You got to become your own wellness doctor. You got to stay in control. You got to have more than faith that you understand what's going on with your body. Get into a little bit of anatomy and physiology and come on a ride with me. Come aboard this Harriet Tubman true ride. And if you want to see a real movie about Harriet Tubman, go back to 1978 and watch that one with Cicely Tyson. It's up there on YouTube. Watch that one and see how you do it and how you work together as a family as a unit around the world are you ready to question your beliefs your knowledge and your behavior to experience something different in your life you must first have it in consciousness we're talking about shifting your states of consciousness and yes you will feel vulnerable but remember vulnerability is your greatest source of power yes it is so people thought it was weakness but it was power I had the power. I still have the power. I'm going to always have the power because that's the gift that came from my ancestors, that came from my parents, and especially from my grandmother. And this time of year right here, oh, boy, she's talking to me. So I'm looking forward to setting back tomorrow, just set back and listening and feeling the vibration of the ancestors. And definitely of my grandmothers, are those, are those big mamas, you know, those big mamas. Yeah, change your reality by the renewing of your mind, family. Over this time in this period, renew your heart, renew, renew your mind, get into a strong vibration of black love and black community. Go out and, and understand about that hashtag, Black People's Comedic Boycott Ham, and that powerful Sankofa conference that Black and Eyes Inc., nonprofit founded by who Mama Dua Malik and myself, I being the director of programs and services and chief wellness officer, go on my page, Sankofa page, and look at the powerful pictures that's out there and the unity and the love that came through. I want to thank Bob Zulu, especially of Ujima School, the drummers that came through. And my plight this year, my support this year was what it was five years ago before this intrusion came into my life. I was getting ready to work and support Baba Zulu and that school, and he needs our support right now. So if you have any money, if you think about putting it to any place, if you think about supporting anything, you want to support Ujima School in Washington, D.C. Look it up, Dr. Zulu. Connect with me. Go on that page on my website, the Sankofa Conference. All the information is there. You can hear from Baba Zulu. He has a big and rich history, and he will not, and I can honor what he says, and I get into any confrontation with him about it. He doesn't want any money but black dollars to help build that school and keep that school. He got some of the finest real estate where that school is in Washington, D.C., on 8th Street Northwest, and they want it, and he owns that building, and we must help him keep that building. And if you want to put your children in the school, they, they're going to learn and understand who they are and how to be in this world. That's that Afrocentric school by this gentleman, Dr. Bob Zulu. That's one of my goals this year is to help him maintain that property, create that school even better, get the right people in there, some more people in there, and get the kids in there and help those parents that don't have the money to put them kids in the school like that, help them have scholarships for that school. We have got to keep Afrocentric schools alive, true Afrocentric school. And you know his is true because he don't want their one of their dollars. In 58 years of that existing that school, he has not taken any money from them, had friends in politics because he grew up with them. He didn't take that money. He only won black dollars, and he needs the support right now from the community to keep that school afloat. So that's one of the things I'm taking on under Black and Eyes, Inc., is making sure that school gets what it needs, and so does Bob Azulo as the founder of that school. Read more about him and understand where he's coming from, and let's unite, family. Sit back over this next month, these holidays that you can spend your money for and put it where it counts. Think about your life that you've been living Think about what you've gone through. Don't get caught up in so much politics and political stuff that it pulls you away from who you are, remembering who you are, and living a life that you should relive and understand. And then I'm going to leave you with a treatment from you know who. You know who I'm going to leave it to you from. And remember, right perspectives, right results. When your perspective is not clear, your behavior becomes inconsistent. So look at yourself and ask yourself. 
Your body will never lie to you, however your mind will. So step up to quantum health and healing with me. Give me a call. Thank you for coming to dance and breathe with me this year. It's been a fantastic year. As my body reached another level, at a greater level of wellness. I understand how this body purifies even more now. I understand the vibrations even more now. And yes, I'm an energetic being that can read energy. But nevertheless, we are one and we are united family. See you in 2020. One another, all of my sisters and brothers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's help one another. My sister and my brother, let's help one another. All of my sister and my brother, we can't make it in this world alone. We can't make it.
Wow, family, that was a great show. I want to thank you so very much for tuning in to the Conscious Self Health Care Conversation Radio Show right here on Interline Radio. It was a pleasure having you tuning in. Now, you must tell a friend to tune in. And if you haven't called in and shared your wellness story, don't you think it's time that you help somebody with your wellness story? Call in, share your story, join the conversation. I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, and I invite you to visit my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com. Or you can just go to the number four, the word C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E.com. Leave me some information. I would love to talk with you. And once again, I look forward to you joining us next Wednesday right here on the Conscious Self Health Care Radio Show. It's a conversation where we uplift each other, where we share our wellness stories so we can help someone move from disease care to conscious self-health care. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to hearing from you next Wednesday. Teach the children, teach the